Dear students, I am Dr. Emma Serafim, your HOD. Hope you all are happy and healthy. I would like to remind you all about Earth Day, which was on 22nd April. In this lockdown period, you might have felt the beauty of nature. Lesser human activity has made nature prettier, beautiful, and had given it more strength too. There are clean rivers, clean air, healed ozone layer. Let us keep this strength of nature strong and let us move towards sustainable development. Today I have brought the topic Migration in Fishes. So let us start learning to Migration in fishes is defined as a class of movement which involves a long journey to a definite area for some purpose and impels the migrant to return to the region from which they have migrated. The purpose of the journey might be breeding or feeding. Remember, migration is a two-way journey. It includes outward journey as well as a return journey. Fishes are notable for migration for the purpose of spawning. Inherent purpose of migration is not known. Based on their relationship to the water boundary, fish migration can be grouped into three categories. Potodromous, Oceanodromous and Diodromous migrations. Migration that occur entirely within freshwater are classified as pododromous. These migrations can solely in lakes. Example is lake trout. Another type is oceanodromous. In this type of migration, fishes live and migrate only in seawater. Example of these fishes are Atlantic herrings, sardines, etc. These fishes nearly migrate to colder water regions for the purpose of spawning and then return to their parental area. In diadromous type of migration, fishes migrate between freshwater and seawater. Example, Pacific Salmonoids. This may be of three types, Catadromous, Anadromous and Amphidromous. In catadromous type of migration, fishes migrate from fresh water into the sea to spawn or to stay entirely in fresh water and migrate downstream to spawn. Example, eels. In anadromous type of migration, fishes migrate from sea up to the fresh water to spawn or to stay entirely in seawater and migrate upstream to spawn. Example is Pacific Salmon species such as Chinook. Some fishes perform completely free movements between fresh and marine water without the purpose of breeding. This is called Amphidromous migration. It is exhibited by fishes like Chanos. Here is the slide showing you different types of migration in diagram. You can also see the examples of different types of migratory fishes. Migration is based on other factors too. Like some fishes of the warm tropical seas perform seasonal migration. They move to north in spring, that is cooler region, and then to south, that is warmer region in autumn. It has been seen that some deep sea fishes can display large vertical migrations over a daily cycle. These migrations may be related to light, search of food, protection and also to spawning. Students, till now I was talking about types of migrations. Now let us see the causes of migration. Migration in fishes is caused basically due to several factors. One of them could be biological factor. 
in freshwater fishes migration is due to insufficient food supply while in marine fishes it is for favorable conditions and better protection for developing eggs based on these facts again migration could be divided as following types first one is elemental or feeding migration another is gametic migration and then climatic or wintering migration feeding migration could be defined as the movement from spawning or overwintering grounds to the feeding grounds feeding migration can be passive or active in many fishes the feeding migration even begins in the egg stage it is a passive feeding migration of eggs and embryos from spawning to feeding ground another one is gametic migration or spawning migration this is the migration in fishes for breeding and so it is related to life cycle spawning migration is an adaptation for ensuring most favorable conditions for the development of eggs and larvae this also gives protection to early stages of fishes from predators the last one is wintering migration wintering and hibernation in fishes are a part of the life cycle of a fish it is characterized by reduced activity reduction or stoppage of food consumption lack of food poor oxygen condition low temperature drought etc wintering do not occur in all fishes overwintering migration is a movement away from feeding to wintering grounds it occurs only in those fishes which have a wintering ground physical factors influencing migration are temperature light intensity photoperiod current turbidity or bottom substances chemical factors for migration could be salinity of water ph of water smell and taste of water and the hormones secreted in the body of fishes there are several advantages of migration migration is an adaptation towards abundance it would be an advantage to have separate spawning nursery and feeding grounds a species whose adults return to spawn in an area where the environmental conditions were similar to those under which they themselves survived when young thus a better egg and larval survival would lead to a greater number of spawners on a particular ground thank you students this is your next assignment prepare your notes remain indoors remain safe remain happy always thank you